In CSGO, movement inaccuracy is not determined by how fast your character is supposed to move, but instead by your character's actual velocity. This means that if you're running at full speed into a wall, you will be totally accurate. This doesn't sound very useful, but in reality, that's exactly what it is. So let me explain what I mean. In CSGO, it is only possible to boost two people on top of each other at once, as a three-man boost will force the top player to run forward. If you, at the time of shooting, is running into a wall that is at an orthogonal angle in relation to your player's aim, you will have exactly zero velocity. Again, we must ask ourselves the question, how is this beneficial? Well, if the wall that you're running towards only is high enough to block the feet of your model, you won't be going anywhere, yet it won't disrupt your vision. I will now present a few examples that show the effectiveness of this technique. The first example I will be showing was the one we just saw highlighted by Penta's Pro Team. I have decided to do this with an op as to further showcase that the move-in inaccuracy should be close to none. This is a somewhat commonly used scout jumping spot in professional play. The three-man boost enables us to use this same spot, but with an AWP. Imagine being on an eco round only having a saved AWP. This spot might give you the upper hand and enable you to get a completely risk-free opening kill. This last spot is very situational, but can be used to clear out the guy behind the tree. Now what I want you to do is find other spots where the 3-man boost might be viable and send them to me through Twitter, link in description. And as always, hope you have enjoyed this video guys, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't, my name is Nato, Safix, and I'll see you in the next video.